So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slash fill command to make things like this. So in order to do the slash fill command, it's actually very simple. So all we do is we find a, let's say we want to do this square here as we've used for an example. So we go to the first corner, it can either be here or on this side or, you know, this side or this side, as long as it's on one of the corners. And then we just type in the coordinates we see at the top with slash fill in front. So we go slash fill like that and then naught. Four, four, which are my commands. Now, what we do is we just enter these commands. Nothing will happen, but it will save them for us to use next time. So then, what we can do is we can just go to the next corner, which will be here. Always go diagonal from it. So if you did here, you would go here, and then we just stand here, and then type in those corners we see there. So minus two, four, six. So if we want to get the last command we just used, we can just press the up arrow, and then we get these up, and then we can continue working with them. So we go minus two, four, six. And then when we finally miss again by placing the commands of typing them in, we should see we get a load of blocks come up. So now we can use any block we want. So let's use some TNT for fun. You can make some real big explosions by doing this. Let's just type in those commands. And then there we go. We will get TNT like this in a perfect square. So now if you want to remove what you've just done, we can just go to the last command we used by going up again, or type retap in those coordinates, and we just replace, we just type in air instead. This will turn it all into air, and we'll get rid of it, and there's nothing here anymore. So what if we wanted to go higher up, like all the way up here? What we do is we would start at the bottom, so we have these coordinates here, we have from last time, so we can just go there, and we can just delete these all the way to here because we already know the starting of it. Or you could just retype in new commands. And then we just go to the corner, but this time we go up. So we go all the way up to, let's say we want it to go about this high here. So then we just type in these coordinates here. So minus 2, 9, 6. Then we go minus 2, and then 9, 6. And then once again, we just do any blocks. Let's go TNT again. I botched that up. We need another T. There we go. And then we will get them this high. So it's literally that simple. And remember, you can just use air. Again, we just do this. And type in air to get rid of anything we have done. And you can also do this with a normal world. So let's say we have a part underground we want to dig out. We can just use this method to then use the air and just get rid of any blocks we want in any world. As long as you are in creative, this will not work in survival because, you know, it uses command. Now, a few things to mention is that obviously there are limits to how big you can do these. I will leave the details of that in the comments below so you can go and read that. And also, you can't do it outside of your map. So if we have a world, and um, I have the map here, we can just grab this. And we can only do it within this area in the map kind of weird, don't know why, but that's just how it works. Anyway, so there we go, that is how to use slash fill in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe to more content like this. I'll see you all in the next tutorial.